Hello church family, Jose here with your weekly update. Uh, this weekend is going to be so much fun because we're going to start to turn the page in our series in the Revelation of Jesus. We're going to look at the end of chapter 19. Make sure if it's a little confusing or the imagery doesn't make sense, go to a revelationconversation.com. Steve and, T and Tim have put together a really helpful podcast to navigate some of the details of what we see in every chapter, in every verse of the Revelation, but make sure you listen in on Revelation 19. You have a wedding, you have an invitation, you have a, a meal and a feast, and at the same time, you, you have a contrast where you have a beast and a defeat and a, a fiery lake. And what is God saying about the future of the world that we live in? And what is the hope that we have as we lean in and think about following Jesus now and in the age to come? Uh, and it's going to turn as we look towards the end of the Revelation, uh, new heavens and new earth. So this has been a hard season of looking at Revelation, but we're, we're turning the page in the book. And I pray it will be an encouragement to you. Be here or uh, be online this Sunday. A couple other things to think about if you've yet to be baptized. We would love to baptize you in water in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. It is a huge part of your discipleship to Jesus. Just go to our website if you've yet to do that and register. We would love to do this uh, as often as we can because of COVID restrictions. We're not limiting it to first Sunday of the month, but we want to do it as often uh, and uh, as frequent as people are ready and able. So we'd love to do that. And another note, side note about the church. Some of you probably noticed, hey, I noticed a lot of worship leaders here on Sundays and what's going on. A bit of an update, we were looking at one person talking, interviewing, and it, it did not work out. An offer was made, but they didn't feel like they were in a place to receive it. And so in this season, we're so blessed. Uh, we are the church together. We're blessed to have so many gifted people in so many areas and using their gifts to lead us in worship. So in the next season, you're going to see a team of people, different people each Sunday leading, and we are praying for a worship director, our worship pastor, and I'm just inviting you to pray with me that God would bring the right person to guide our team. One of the beautiful things I love about our community is it's always been about multiple people sharing their voice, and it's about the worship of Jesus, not like one celebrity on a stage. But we do know it's important to have that key leader, so pray with me, and as the Lord brings uh, a person or people to mind, we'll have them uh, lead in our church and take them on the application process. If you know someone uh, uh, who's gifted and, and experienced, we would love to hear about it, okay? So pray with us that God would bring the right person to lead in that area and in every other area. As the world reopens, we're going to see each other more often, and that means everyone has a place to serve. So as we're praying for uh, a worship director, a worship pastor, we're also praying for you that you would lean in and serve and love God's people and sacrificially give yourself. So whatever your gift, skill, passion, uh, your experience, it's needed in our body. So over the next few weeks and months, as things reopen more and more, we're gonna be calling you out. One thing to think about is kids. Uh, we don't have the ac actual application yet, but if you've yet to serve with kids, we're gonna need lots of help as those classes re-emerge. Well, we love you. Make sure to register for this Sunday, 9-11, and we'll see you on site or online.